Hi, good morning, Bible Revival, Nick Grunner. We're down at a hospital area. Our message is on healing and faith. And is God, do Jesus done doing miracles? No, he's not. He's doing them every day. And uh, this sign struck me, Dunedin Strong, that's the name of the town. And thank you caregivers. Every day they're in there face to face with diseases, being um, helpful to patients with positive feedback to say they're gonna make it, even holding their hand, doing the extra. You know, uh, a real holy job by, by the um, nurses. I mean, they have to do their charts and this and that, the basic physical stuff, but the spiritual love that they offer people is is uh, beyond any other job really in in the world. All right, let's go to John nine six. A blind person was blind since birth, and they go, Jesus, did his parents sin? Did he sin? Why was he why was he struck with blindness? And the Lord said, it's so you could see the works of God through this situation. Okay, John nine six seven. John. After Jesus said this to them, that it was the work of God that you'll see through these hardships, like blindness, that it wasn't because anyone sinned or was cursed. After this little chat, Jesus said, he spit on the ground, he made some mud, smeared it on the man's eyes, and then he said to the person, go and wash off the mud in Siloam in the Siloam pool. So he went to a particular pool because bathing bath houses and spas, as we know them today, they were special places of healing. And he said, go to the pool. So the man went and washed in this Siloam pool, which means one who is sent. That's the, the, interp uh, the, script, the definition. When he washed off the mud, he could see and Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I love that. I am the light of the world. In Jeremiah, again, we're comparing Old Testament promises to the New Testament that we just heard when Jesus was walking around. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. So do you praise the Lord? Do you believe that he died for your sins and we're going to be saved for eternity so it's just a wonderful his signs of love are all over the place because they happened 2,000 years ago in writing it's as fresh as today believe that don't make it like it's all dark dusty history it's like yesterday he left to me on the beach when he ascended yesterday okay take care Thank you, nurses, doctors, all those who are behind the scenes at a hospital, even the janitor that, that cleans and sterilizes. It's a whole team effort from everyone in the medical field trying to heal our loved ones. So let's pray when we're done with this. Say a prayer of healing for people that you know and just for your, your own community. All right, take care. Love the Lord. It's a matter of joy and he wants you to be healthy mentally, physically, and spiritually. Amen.